So you guys good to go? Yes, sir. Well, I guess in case anybody was curious about overtime in the USFL, I got a first-hand glimpse of it tonight. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for us, but um, you know, it was a it was a good football game um, all the way around. I mean, I think both teams played played well. Of course, we we got a boost at the quarterback position, the quarterback play, and unfortunately, you know, he's, he was. Uh, he was playing, you know, he played about a quarter um, with a really, really sore thumb, uh, but just kept saying he was okay. It was okay, so I trust him, and um, I thought he did a nice job uh, in a short amount of preparation time. So, you know, um, you know, I just told the group there, I mean, you know, we just keep doing what we're doing. Um, I, I probably could have had him a little better prepared in the, in the two-point world. Um, you know, we practice it, but, um, you know, Obviously, the first attempt in overtime, um, you know, we got the advantage because we got closer, and then we had a, we had the you know shotgun snap, and that created a problem for us. So, um, and those are the little things, you know, when your start center misses all week and doesn't play because because uh, of illness. Um, sometimes those things happen. So, um, I like to talk about just the good things that happened. I mean, you can see where we, how far we've come and improvement at the quarterback position, uh, the kicker, where we are now, and just a great kick. And and um, you know he um, he played um, he played pretty well for us all day. So you know we got a couple turnovers that you think you need to take advantage of, and and you know we. You know, we got threes and not sevens, and you know, just too many threes against a team like that. It's just not going to get it done. Really felt like you know we had a chance there at the end. Um, couldn't get couldn't get that first down that we needed, uh, and um, so we made a three point game. And you know they got made the plays and kicked the field goal. So um, we got a you know I guess we're back in the division again this this, this coming week, and so um, we'll you know we'll rally and show up and. Um, We'll give Philly a run for their money. You guys got any questions? Yeah, Coach. Uh, ordinarily, you get 60 yard field goal out of your kicker. You convert two points during regulation, and you hold a team scoreless for a better part of nine minutes. You expect to win that game, and then you're in overtime. So, what do you tell your guys going into that, knowing that you've already been able to convert earlier? Is there something about the mentality, or is there something about the hearing of the experience being in this first overtime? No, I mean, uh, it's a. The, the overtime aspects uh, of the game, you know, it's football. Uh, but, um, you know, the field's short and the ball's on the two. And, you know, that's uh, you know, the way it was designed. I think it's a great format. Um, you know, obviously, you know, it didn't, like I said, it didn't work out for us. But, um, you know, we knew, we knew what we had to do. I mean, that's a, that's a potent offense. And, you know, they took advantage of some things and made some plays. And, you know, we... You know, we got in, got some stops and made them kick some field goals. But, you know, we just, you know, you can't beat a team that's scoring like they are, um, you know, settling for field goals the whole game. Now, we did get, you know, we did get the ball in the end zone. And I think clearly we, you know, we did what we wanted to do from a time of possession. And, um, you know, we need to keep the ball away from them and run it. And we did. And, you know, it just didn't work out at the end, you know. evaluation of him having coached in the National Football League for so long as running back, what's the ceiling for a player like him? You know, I, I, I am really pleased with all three of our running backs. Um, it, you know, you, I'll speak on Reg, Reggie first. I mean, you know, we try to get the ball in his hands, you know, and you can see what he does as a returner for us. He's, a, you know, he's one play away from, you know, going the distance uh, in the kickoff return game. But... Um, as a pass catcher, as a runner, he's ex- extremely explosive. He has the speed at, in this league to get the edge and get the corner and things like that. And then, you know, he originally, when you know we were identifying the characteristics and the qualities of our running backs, we we want a big, strong inside power, wear you down type of back that's got you know breakaway speed. And we got that with Stevie. And then we want to change the pace, and we got it. And then, you know, with Reggie, and then you know Cam is Cam is extremely valuable to us, and as he would be in the NFL because he's that he's not a twenty carry a game guy, but he's one of those guys that he's your personal protector on punt. He's on all four teams, and he can you know he understands protection and. He, so all three of our guys, you know, are 
modeled after, you know, the type of players that you want, you know, in the NFL if you're going to keep three on your roster. we got time for one question from the Zoom audience. Okay, terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm.